What is going on, everyone, and welcome to Cart6T3. I am your host, the, the person who makes all these videos. My name is Ben, in case you didn't know that. And uh, we do all sorts of tips, tricks, and informational stuff on this channel. My GoPro footage, uh, open UAS car, my KT100 racing, uh, all sorts of good stuff. So if you didn't mind, you could uh, hit a like or subscribe to the channel. At the end of this video, if uh, you find some of this stuff useful to you, that would be great. So uh, jogging through all my notes on, on what video to do next, I thought, you know, People really seem to enjoy the uh, the tire videos, so um, some of the newer people might not understand why certain tires are wearing where they're wearing and what they look like when they're wearing out, and it, you know what what disadvantages this might have. So I thought we'd uh, we'd kind of go over that. Uh, I'm gonna get out some different brands. I Got to get some stuff cleaned up. Shop's a bit of a mess right now, but <laughs> I'm going to get it. some different brands. Uh, I have different uh, stages of wear on a bunch of different tires, and I want to show those to you up close. So uh, give me a second here. We'll get everything set up and uh, dive down and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we are going to take a look at the cart. At first, this is my UAS ride. This is the Scythe. Um, and the reason I'm showing you this before I actually show the tire wear is because I would say, for the most part, the tire that wears out the most is your right rear. Your left rear to an extent, and, and we're going to take a peek at that, but I wanted to kind of explain why that happens. Now, I've referenced this in another video. You have to think of your right rear tire, all right, first off, this is the engine side, whether it be a clone or whatever, all the weight, you know, a lot of the weight is gonna be right here. So you're, you're planting this in the ground. So not only do you have force going down, but as you're going around the corner, G-forces are going to be, you know, pushing in towards the tire. So, you know, you're, you're as you as you would want to slide this way, this tire is gripping this way. So it is actually ballooning the inside edge up. So when people talk about losing the edge, this, the, the you know, your tire pressure is gonna affect this. The lower tire pressure you, you, you know, have, it's gonna cause it to exacerbate, is that the word? <laughs> um, it's gonna make it worse. So this, the G-forces are gonna squish down and they're gonna push. And this side is actually going to balloon up further than this side. So this edge is gonna go away. This tire is right on the verge of, I'm probably going to flip it uh, just to get the edge back to looking, you know, decent enough like this. So um, we're going to jump over to my bench real quick and I'm going to show you some tire wear. All right. We are going to take a peek at these Maxis. Now you're wondering, hey, Ben, you're in New York. Why are you uh, showing Maxis? Well, I happened to get these uh, get these out. I was started to think about tires for the Grand Nationals being at Jake. GKK in Georgia. So I started looking at, you know, what I had left for Maxis, whether they're in good shape or not. So this is what I would consider. All right. So this is the, the, so this is the inside tire. This is the, uh, this is the inside of it. This tire hasn't been on track very much. So I would consider these to be just about perfect edges. Uh, I do have some scoring on here. I must've run it, uh, the lap disc on them at one point in time. I know Southerners don't do that, but this is a very good edge. So this tire, very much usable. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the tire I ran in 2019 at the Grand Nationals in Jasper, Florida. And as you can see, what I was talking about there, G-forces are pushing down and they're pushing this way. I was running, I, if I recall correctly, like eight pounds of pressure in this tire. So air pressure really w wasn't the case. It was just the amount of grip that that place had. Jasper, Florida is very grippy and the inside edge is pretty much destroyed on this. So can I flip it? Can I get, you know, some more run out of it? Absolutely. But, you know, instead of the wear bars going down, you know, you, you, you would think you would lose tread here. You don't so much, but you lose the edge, which makes the tire not as fast. Okay, and now on to some Vegas. Now, again, you know, the same, uh, the same look here. This is what I would call, you know, a next, it's been run, uh, but uh, a next to perfect look in Vega. 
you know, pretty much new. Still got a thick dot there of tread. The edge isn't, you know, torn up all that much. And then we're going to pan over here into one of my Uzis. And this was run on a super soft track, a super soft durometer, and a bit lower air pressure. And I have torn up the top of the uh, sidewall here. Now, the one thing about, you know, I haven't cleaned this tire all that much because I don't, I don't, you know, it, it lost some speed after the last run. Um, but it, uh, it, it, can I use it? Can I flip it? Absolutely. But this is what happens when you, you know, that, that dynamic, that push in the balloon in this side. Well, when you run super low pressure on your tires, this is what can happen. You can tear up the sidewall. You can make it look not so pretty. And I think the tires do lose some speed in that. So be careful when you're doing that. And real quick here, we're going to pop into three different versions of left rears. All right, so... Um, yeah, <laughs> so the left rear uh, Vega has been quite used. I just happen to uh, still have this one kicking around. Uh, they tend to wear, I don't know what the hell's all over that, but uh, they tend to wear pretty even. Uh, this is probably uh, the next step in the evolution of wear out. All right, she's down a little bit. We do have a little bit of uh scoring here on the left rear of the tire on the on the inside and then what would be considered pretty much brand new tire uh, it's been prepped just hasn't been run all that much right along with me maybe been on track once or twice but uh nice good clean edge but for the most part your your left rears they tend to wear out fairly even i think um yeah geez i don't, I don't know what that is <laughs> <laughs> but all right there you go there's a uh, three different versions now we're gonna pop into burris and last but not least the burris now some people are not super fans of burris i happen to be when they work they just plainly work and we have three different versions here we have a unused unmounted 2019 here so this is how they come this is what they look like here's your uh your edges and everything. I think of the bunch out of Maxis, out of Vegas, out of Burris. Burris are the ones that wear the evenest. I've run these at low or uh, low pressures. I've run them with a bit of prep. I've run it with a no prep, you know, on the outside or anything. And this is a tire that has some some runs on it. This is a 2019. They tend to get this kind of rounded look when they wear, but they don't seem to lose the edge. They, uh, whatever it is about the construction of them, you don't see what happens on the Maxis or the Vega happen to a Burris. And proof in the pudding right here, the third version here, this tire is a 2016. I still will run this. Now, it is rounded. It has become rounded over years of use. But uh, up until last year, I started playing around with some of my, you know, slightly newer Burris, my 19s and what have you. But there's nothing wrong with this tire. And, it, you know, uh, Dura-wise, this guy's a little bit harder. It's really good for those summer baked days where the track's super hard. And I keep it on deck just in case I need it. Now, the, again, the wear just... This is the, the right rears. The, the, the one thing that is, you know, Burris does hold over the competition is where whatever rubbers they use for compound, this works great. So there you go. We're going to pop up top for a conclusion and uh, I'll see you in a second. All right. So there you go. There is uh, a look at some of the tire wear that happens. Like I said, I think 90% of the time, Tire wear happens for the most part. The, 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 the most damage occurs on your right rear. It's just whether you're running a low cross chassis or a high cross chassis, current chassis are high cross and what I call right rear dependent. So that the amount of pressure that's on right rear will depend how tight or loose you are. The more pressure on your right rear, the tighter you're going to be if you want that good grip. You may give that up towards the end of the round, the run, depending on how hard you are on that right rear, and that is some of the wear that is going to show on those tires because of that. The other tires, you know, rear right front, maybe a little bit. If you're a little too soft, it's going to show, especially down south. Maybe 
you know, my experience is only up north. So maybe you're getting some significant tire wear on your right front tire down south or where you're, you know, whatever track you're at that has a high grip level. That's possible. But from my experience, the right rear takes most of the damage, the left rear to an extent, but the left rear seems to bevel off more evenly. You're, you're, when, you're, when your cart is sliding, the left rear seems to slide, you know, it will bubble the outside a little bit, but it tends to wear more evenly than your right rear. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. If you're wondering, you know, what, what is happening in my tire? If you're getting excessive tire wear in your right rear, maybe try some things like less prep on your right rear, uh, maybe just something like a PRW to fire the tire off, but you know, keep the prep to a minimum. Up your tire pressure. Upping your tire pressure will cause that tire not to roll over as bad and wear that inner edge out. So those are some uh, tips for you. If you would like to consider them, that'd be great. <laughs> but all right, guys, I guess that's the end of the video. Uh, again, if you didn't mind, hit a like, subscribe to the channel if you found this stuff useful to you, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.